season chef Troy Vincent here today I'm gonna do something that I probably don't normally do what this is is it's called Mandarin Mandarin pork loin and it's not called Mandarin pork loin because it's from China it's called Mandarin pork loin because when I make this I, I take I see I take some those pork loins you get the long skinny ones I split them so that you're literally um, Splitting them right down the middle, so they're easy. It's easier to cook them and get them brown. Um, but as you can see, I split one of those tenderloins. Actually, two of them for this recipe. And this is even a smaller pan than I normally use. Um, this is a smaller pan than I normally use. But the thing is, um, if you want to brown them. Um, I season them a little bit. I brown them. I use coconut oil today because I'm I've been doing a little bit of a keto thing I know coconut isn't really one of the things on their list but I've been staying away from canola and some of the other really bad poly trans fats whatever you call them um, but you brown them and then what you do is you put about a can this, not in this pan because this like I said this pan's a little too small but you put about a can of mandarin oranges drained in here uh, a can of crust or tidbit pineapple um, you don't want to use the big chunks they're too big um, and then you want to put a diced tomato so that sounds crazy when you mix it up together um, then I put some brown sugar in it a little bit of cinnamon you can put some ginger so it kind of gives it a, a little bit of an oriental twist to it but it's not really an oriental dish and again as I said I only call it Mandarin because it's got mandarin oranges and what happens is at the end the tomatoes and the mandarin oranges like completely break down so there's nothing left but like a glaze with pineapple tidbits in it see so I'll, I'll move on and then I'll show you uh, oh, that later these pork loins kind of brown pretty good the next thing you want to do is you want to add like um, about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar Actually, it was two thirds of a cup. Sorry. Wrong measurement. <laughs> um, then a can of crushed pineapple, 20 ounce can or tidbit. These are tidbits. Sorry. So you can use crushed or tidbit. One small. Sorry. One small diced tomato. Let me see if I can clear that up for you. One small diced tomato. And. Sorry. One can of mandarin oranges. And I drain them. But look, um, here's one thing you can do. Reserve the juice off the mandarin oranges and the pineapple. Reserve the juice off the pineapple. If it gets to the point where it's, you think it's too dry, what you do is you just... Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this way down on low. And I want to I'm gonna look at the burner and why is because you want that tenderloin to, to to actually soften up a lot and what what's gonna happen is it's gonna get really tender and all those uh, fruit the, the as I said the mandarin oranges and the tomatoes completely break down and make sort of a glaze combined with that brown sugar and then it's going to turn into a thick glaze eventually. So if it starts getting too dry right off the bat, you can turn around and I'll just show you right off the bat here. Um, see, I reserved some of the mandarin orange juice and a, a little mandarin juice. And a little pineapple juice. And you can let that simmer. And this is not a quick recipe, and I'll tell you that now, it takes hours for this to cook. And I usually like cook at least two hours, but you'll know uh, once the glaze starts getting done, and that way the, the, the tenderloin uh, still tenders up even more. So it gets really good and tender, and then this turns into, all this turns into a glaze with little chunks of pineapple in it. Oh, hey, a little few a little shots uh, of it as, it, as it's, it's cooking down. So this is about a half an hour or so. This is after about an hour. You can see the tomatoes are starting to break down. The, uh, let me get this. 
the pork itself is getting tender and as this like I said as this cooks down this will all turn into almost like a like a paste except for the pineapples the mandarin oranges and the tomatoes completely break down and the brown sugar makes it as kind of a sweet like a sweet sauce but I'll show you it's a glaze not a sauce but you'll see check it out now it's starting to get the the, the uh, mandarin oranges and the tomatoes are really starting to break down now now the battle all that's left is the uh, is the um, pineapple and here I laid this piece over so it's getting really tender too it's actually see it's starting to fall apart now but anyway I'll be back Now the the uh, stuff all cooked down the glaze is almost I wouldn't say it was like a glaze it's probably more like a relish almost when it's done because it still has the little pineapple chunks in it even though like the tomatoes cooked down and so do the mandarin oranges but uh, I'll show you one more shot here in a second there it is see I put a nice little layer of it uh, right on top of that piece of pork loin and I only took about half of one of those uh, uh, loins but let me take a take a taste right. now, as odd as this might seem to you all um, how many of you've had you know like lamb and you put you know mint apple jelly or something like that on it um, so mm, you just don't know that's so good and this is my recipe so you won't be able to find it anywhere else um, unless somebody makes something like it somewhere now, technically, instead of naming it just Mandarin Pork Loin, I originally thought of naming it Mandarin Pineapple Tomato Pork Loin, but that was a bit long, so... Anyway, have a good evening. I just wanted to add one thing to this video up at the end here. Um, and this is to people out there. If you're considering suicide, please call the suicide prevention line or talk to someone. Call a friend. Look, look for some somebody to help you. Don't just give up. And uh, I'm saying this because my best friend of 43 years took his own life on April 22nd. So I've been struggling a little bit with that. But, you know, um, I've been through a lot in the last two and a half years. So that was just really um, kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. So I decided, you know what, you can lay down or you can get up and you can go forward. So... Um, my wife passed away two and a half years ago, so I've been between all of that. Um, I picked myself up and I said, you know what? I'm going to move forward. So do the same thing. Call someone, get some help and talk to somebody because you're hurting people who you're not even thinking about when you do that. So try not to, uh, give up and keep the faith, you know, find some happiness and, uh, you can, uh, move on and live a better better life you know take care